So in this video, we'll be discussing about the etiology of this inflammatory skin condition called rosacea. Rosacea is a common condition affecting up to 10% of the world's population. The onset is usually at the age between 30 to 50, but it can occur at any age. Rosacea is more commonly affecting lighter Fitzpatrick or lighter skin types, particularly those with Celtic and Northern European background and less common in people with darker skin types or Fitzpatrick 5 and 6. The occurrence in both females and males are equal, however, people suffer from rosacea, particularly females, are more likely to have other autoimmune diseases, such as type 1 diabetes and celiac disease, which is the digestive disorder affecting the small intestine. The cause of rosacea is still poorly understood, However, there might be association with either number one, overactive immune system, which is the imbalanced dysregulations of both innate and adaptive immune system. The innate immune system is responsible to protect against changes in body cells, whereas the adaptive immune system protects against foreign particles. Number two, genetic predispositions. This can be seen in higher incidence in people that have positive family history of rosacea. Number three, environmental component, which include UV exposure and inflammatory response to cutaneous microorganisms, such as demodex mite proliferation. This is a spindle-shaped transparent mites located in the spacious glands, which is the part of normal human microbiota. People with rosacea usually have higher number of these mites, and when these mites die, they release bacteria, which will trigger the immune response causing inflammations and erythema or redness in the skin. Combinations of these are considered the potential factors involved with the initiations and development of rosacea. Additionally, it is known that more than half of the people that suffer from rosacea would have ocular problems as well, such as dryness, pleuritis, or inflammations of the eyelids characterized by red, swollen, irritated eyelids, photophobia, which is the light sensitivity towards light, conjunctivitis, which is the inflammations of the inner part of the eyelids, iritis, which is the inflammations of the iris of, or the colored part of the eye, and in rare case, keratitis, which is the inflammations of the cornea of the eye. Remember to always seek medical advice if you suspect that you have rosacea, and if you are interested in knowing the course of rosacea, we will discuss that further in the next coming videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and feel free to leave any feedback in the comment section down below. See you in the next video.